see your hair flip too. <laughs> yeah. You do, yeah. That that should be your purchase today. <laughs> It's the fly, isn't it? It followed me and now it's... I tried. There's a deer fly after all of us now. Oh, it's started. I just am... Tr I'm waiting to see if people are... Oh, there we go. Hi, Deb. Good morning, everybody. It's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. And this is Mark and Victor and Catherine and we're just waiting on a tiger. So today is moving cat day. So we'll have several lives today. Um, Max Tiger is gonna be coming home from vacation. He does still have a limp. Um, he is being medicated for that. And once he gets home, he'll be on our version of cage rest for a tiger. So he'll be in a smaller area, um, just promoting him to rest and not jump and climb and all of that. So we're just waiting on Lauren G, which is our coordinator today, and Fred are down with a bucket of treats. And we're all just waiting on Max Tiger to make his way down here. Good morning, everybody. We just got started. This is the first live of the day. Um, I believe we'll be mowing and doing anything that we need to do in the two and a half acre vacation rotation. Um, and then by this afternoon, the plan is to move Amanda Tiger onto vacation. She is a very short move. She's just on the other side of this enclosure and it's just a short little tunnel that she walks through. So Max Tiger has quite a bit of ways to go to get home. He has to walk through almost every tunnel area that we have. And you're right, he did not get breakfast this morning. It's only an hour or two late um, so that we can help motivate him to come home. And again, he will have a little bit of a hop in his step because he does have a little bit of a limp going on right now. We're still unsure as to what happened with that, but we're hoping with some rest and some pain meds that he'll even himself back out. So yes, Amanda should be uh, the next one to go. That's the plan. Are your arms tired yet, Mark? <laughs> so Mark's got to close the door as soon as Max gets all the way in the tunnel. And then Catherine's down here with a whole nother bucket of treats so that we can see uh, that he has plenty of motivation to go home. guys can also watch um, from a different angle when the cats leave and come back um, if you go to bigcatcams.com. to be a running situation so yeah, <laughs> we we like when like Kali and some of the others run but we want Maxi to take it slow see a little hitch in his step
What a good boy. You're alright, handsome. <laughs> okay, come on, Bubba. Come on, Nancy. Come on, my sweet boy. Come on. Ooh, everybody's got treats. Yeah. Good job, mister. Good boy. Yeah. The tough part. Know. Come on, baby. What a good boy. You taking it slow in there. He's such a good boy. Yeah, we all chuffed at him so that he'd know that he was safe to come towards us. Doing so good. He's so easy. Haven't had to use any of his treats yet. So once he gets home, he'll get his full breakfast. He has already had some treats. Jasmine watching a good boy go home. He's just, he's like, I know this routine. <laughs> Thank you, Edith, for the donation. So he's gonna go all the way around. And I've actually gotta go around. Yes, I've said it multiple times, Max Tiger does have a limp. It was seen uh, almost a week ago. Hi, baby girl, I know. And he's been on pain medication and he was kept in the roof section of vacation. But we do need him to go home. He's gonna be in a smaller section of his home enclosure, still on cage rest. Is a crunchy one. Thank you, Angie, for the donation. Good job, mister. He was almost home. One more. Yeah. One more. I know. It feels weird. So good. So, if any of you have ever wondered how we get them to and from our two and a half acre vacation rotation, this is how. These above ground tunnels. He is almost home. Well, out of the Guatemala boys, Max has been the easiest to get home. Actually, the easiest to get out there and back. Good job, go to Jamie. Gotta turn a corner. So Jamie's over there to get some of the last few doors. Back to Jamie. Hi, babe. There you go. There you go. We need a rope on this one. There we go. What a smart boy. Uh, Casey, it does. It's quite time-consuming to put all these tunnels together. Oh, <laughs> he was so happy to be home. That was actually super cute, though. His little hop and skip. No. <laughs> you know, even though, like, we consider him young, he is still, you know, 10 years old at this point. That's our best estimation. Thank you, Ellen, for the donation. 
so we'll go around the corner here and try to see him a little closer now that he's home. And uh, so anyway, yeah, it takes um, anywhere from six to eight keepers. Uh, and then Catherine and Jamie um, to put all the tunnels together. Depends on who's going, because there's different tunnels all over. Um, for Max and Kimba to go on vacation, we have to put every single tunnel together. So he's home, he's gonna get all the rest of his treats. He's getting lots of chicken. And then, like I said, he'll be kept in a smaller area of his enclosure just so he can continue his rest and his medication. We'll keep you guys up to date on him. He'll get the rest of his breakfast here as soon as we get um, all of the tunnels back down. Good job, mister. You go take it easy, okay? Poor baby. And the irony of this is yesterday, Kimba was seen limping exactly like this, almost to the T. So now he's kind of in a, on a cage rest situation. So we're not sure if these boys are, they've just never had, you know, big platforms and dens and things to jump off of. And unfortunately that's probably what happened. None, none of us saw it happen in person, so we're not sure. Mister. All right, thank you, Susan, for the, Suzanne, for the donation. Appreciate you guys. You can rewatch this um, at big, dailybigcat.com, dailybigcat.com. And you'll see Max come home. Simba seems to be excited that Max is home. Let's walk down and say hi to Simba. Or maybe Simba's just excited because there's food buckets. Is that where your chicken was? Whoa. I know. Hey, cute boy. Hi, cute boy. So Simba, Simba came with Kimba and Max from Guatemala. Is your friend home? Is your friend home? <laughs> yes, he's home. He's home. Thank you, Diana, for the donation. He's, Max is rubbing and rolling and peeing on everything in his home enclosure again. Anytime we send them on vacation, they um, get a full makeover in their enclosures, so everything gets raked, and oh, he's so excited to be home, but he, he should rest. Once we clear out of this area, he will. We've got to still break down all the different tunnels, close all of the appropriate doors again. That takes a while. He's probably like, where's Kimba? Kimba's on the other side, not quite where Max can see him. And I feel bad that we blew off Jasmine as we ran by, so let's walk back over to her for a minute. And then I'll shut this down because I don't want to drain my battery. Um, when Amanda Tiger goes on vacation, that'll be short and sweet, but I'll try to go live for that. Otherwise, you can keep watch at uh, bigcams.com. Where'd she go? And then this afternoon, or actually maybe fairly quickly, once all these tunnels are broken down again. Where the heck did she go? <laughs> oh, I was like, how do you lose a big old tiger? Jazz! <laughs> oh, sorry guys, my allergies. Whew. It is bad out here. Uh, funcation, the goal, <laughs> at least right now, is that we are going to bring Gilligan home. I probably will not film catching him because I may end up having to help with that like last time. She's back there. Jasmine. Um, but the uh, cat going out to Funcation, the current plan is that it'll be Zucari Serval. So I will try to bring you guys along for that as well. So 
So thank you guys again to the six people that donated, everybody who shared this, everybody who's uh, <laughs> saying bless you, thank you. <laughs> yep, this time of year, and it's a bad time right now to be the sneezy, you know, coffee person, <laughs> but I know it's allergies, but... When I was a kid, I was allergic to literally just being outside, and I've outgrown a lot of it, but pollen and mildew and dust is still really, really bad for me. And that's basically what the whole sanctuary is right now. Not, not the mildew part, but the pollen and the dust. Oh, the dust is bad. Everything's just like a thick layer of green <laughs> pollen and brown dirt. So yeah, this is Jasmine. So I will go live when we move another cat, but for now, uh, you guys just saw Max Tiger come home, and uh, I'll be back when we do something else, so thank you guys.